and welcome to Evie's Toy House. Today we're doing something really fun. We're going to be turning our brand new Pinkie Pie here into Evie from Pokemon. So I think these new styles of My Little Ponies will work really well as Pokemons. All right, let's get started. Let's go ahead and remove the hair and the tail. So here goes the tail. And here goes the mane. To make sure that we're cutting as close as possible to the scalp, I'm using a nail tool to cut the rest of the stubble. Next, we're going to use some 100% acetone. I'm going to use it to remove the eyes on Pinkie Pie here. But it seems like we can't actually remove the eyes, which is very interesting. Let's remove the cutie mark. Next, we're going to paint the pony in fawn. Alright, so right now we have our first layer of paint on. However, I'm just not very happy with this double of hair. We did cut it very close to scalp, but as you can see, it's still quite visible. So what I'm going to do is go about it the old-fashioned way and go into the head and pull out the hair. So I was hoping that we didn't have to do this. However, I think for this custom, we'll have to go in and take out the little neck plug here. Then we can reach the hair from the inside. So the neck plug for this pony is actually a little bit deeper than the previous one. So we're going to cut around this little edge here, but we're going to cut straight down. If you cut slanted, you actually would not get the plug out. So we're going to cut it straight down and hopefully get this plug out. And got to be very, very careful because you can very easily hurt yourself. Alright, so we made it in. Now let's take this plug out. Okay, so as you can see, the plug for this type of pony is actually quite different and you had to cut a much larger hole. So once we're done, we can put this back in and seal it up. Now we can go in with our long nose pliers, since it's stronger than tweezers, and take out the hair from the inside. All right, Pinkie Pie is bald. This looks so much better. So now we're gonna take our little plug and we're going to put it back in with some super glue. Now we can add the second layer of paint. We'll make sure to use the paint to cover up the holes. To make the tail, we're gonna use a bit of air dry clay. We're going to shape it into a ball first and then slowly taper it one end so that it's pointy. Then carefully with an X-Acto knife, you're going to score some zigzags. Next, we're going to make the little bit of fur around the neck. Alright, now we wait for it to dry. Now we're going to add a tuft of hair on top of the head. Taking a small roll of oven baked clay, we're going to cut it with a zigzag knife and then place it between the ears. Using my heat gun, we're going to quickly bake the clay. Now we're going to give it a final coat of paint. For the tail, we're going to paint the bottom brown. We're going to paint the tip cream. 
Now we're going to do the eyes. We're going to use dark brown and draw big ovals. On top, we're going to add large white ovals. For the nose, we're going to paint a little triangle. And then add tiny little eyebrows. We're also going to paint the inside of the ears dark brown. Alright everyone, and our Evie is done! Oh my goodness, isn't she cute? So she has these big, big eyes, and she has a bit of fur around her neck, and she has a big old fluffy tail. I think this new style pony is a good fit for Pokemons. The next thing I want to do is melt Eevee on a jewelry trinket box. I have a silicone mold to create a custom flower-shaped box with lid, and I think Eevee would look really great mounted on that lid. So let's go ahead and pour our resin. As always, when working with resin, make sure to use proper safety equipment, including gloves, I use nitro gloves, a well-ventilated room, and have a respirator. For this project, I'm going to be using two-part epoxy resin and we're going to pour 40 grams of it. Let's mix it until it's clear. Then, we're going to add in pink glass chips. We're going to stir it until all the pieces are coated. Now, we're going to carefully pour the mixture into the mold. Using a popsicle stick, we're going to push the pieces into the edges and squeeze out any air bubbles. Once the container part is done, we'll pour the resin into the lid. Again, we're going to make sure there are no air pockets. So the resin is cured and we are ready to unmold it. So let's go ahead and take it out. Alright everyone, so here it is. Here is a little trinket dish or a little bowl with a little lid on top. And I think it looks really great. Just take a look at this. All the little chips inside are super colorful and it's a little bit transparent too. To secure the pony, we're going to be using some UV resin. So I'm adding a dab of UV resin down here on the feet and then we're going to use the UV light and attach it to the lid. I'm going to do this to the other feet also. Alright everyone, and we are done! Here is Evie on top of the little trinket box. So we secured Evie's feet using some UV resins. As you can see here, since it's clear, it's not very obvious. And we have this box. So this box has a lot of space. We can put a little necklace in here. We have a little Pokemon ball. And we can even put our little Evie. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Let's tuck Evie right in there. Super fun. All right, everyone. So this was a really fun custom to do. I think I would like to do all the other evolutions of Evie and have a whole collection of Evies on trinket boxes. What do you think? So if you want to see more of these videos, make sure to subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.